magandang buhay! Welcome back to virtual class! I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4. In today's lesson, you will be learning about properties and characteristics of light and sound. Are you ready for a new lesson? Great! Let's get started! In our previous lesson, you were able to describe how light, sound, and heat travel. Light travels in a straight line. Sound travels in waves. And heat is transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation. But before we proceed to our new lesson, let's have first a short review. Answer the following questions and choose the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Heat travels by conduction, convection, and blank. A. Radiation B. Imagination C. Correction and D. Position The correct answer is letter A. Radiation Number 2. It is the bending of light as it travels from one type of material to another. A. Reflection B. Vibration C. Refraction and D. The reduction And the correct answer is letter C. Refraction Number 3. It is the bounce back of light into the direction of the source. A. Vibration B. Reflection C. Refraction and D. Reduction The correct answer is Letter B. Reflection Number 4. Sound travel faster in blank than in air. A. Waves B. Gas C. Liquids D. Solids The correct answer is Letter D. Solids Number 5. Blank is the transfer of heat from one place to another by movement in fluids. A. Conduction B. Obligation C. Convection and D. Radiation The correct answer is Letter C. Convection Did you get the correct answers? Bravo! Today, let us investigate the characteristics of sound. Sound can be reflected or absorbed when it hits a solid material. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When objects vibrate, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles bump into particles close to them causing them to vibrate and bump into more air particles. If sound hits a hard and smooth surface, the wave reflects. That means that the sound bounces back. When sound hits a solid material, such as a concrete wall, it is reflected. Reflection of sound produces reverberation or echo. Echo The sound wave that bounces back is called echo. It perceived reflected sound with enough time or to be distinguished from the original sound. Reverberation is a combined effect of multiple echoes in an enclosed area like a room. Sound wave travels at different speed through different media. Sound and light are similar in the sense that both are forms of energy that travels in waves. Although sound can travel through a medium or substance such as solid, liquid, or gas, and light can travel through an empty space. So how do we see things or objects around us? We see objects or things through light. So, where is the light coming from? So the light came from a luminous. And what is luminous? 
Luminous are objects which emit their own light, such as a light bulb, the sun, and the stars. And there are also non-luminous objects. There are the objects that do not emit their own light, such as wood, plastics, cotton, and metals. How about the moon and the planets? Is it luminous or a non-luminous objects? So moon and planets are non-luminous objects. We are able to see light at night because of reflection of light. Reflection of light Referred to as change in direction of light or a bouncing of light from some surface. And when this light reaches our eyes, then we can see objects. That is why we see non-luminous objects. Let's have for exercise 1. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is incorrect or wrong. Are you ready? Let's get started! Number 1. Sound produced when things move back and forth or vibrate. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Number 2. Echo is the softness or the loudness of sound. Is it true or false? The correct answer is false. The softness or the loudness of sound is called volume. Number 3. The loudness of sound decreases as it moves nearer the observer. Is it true or false? The correct answer is false. The loudness of sound increases as it moves nearer the observer. Number 4. Echo is the term used for the sound that is reflected back to its source. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. And number 5. Reflection is the reason why we see non-luminous objects. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is true. Did you get the correct answers? Excellent! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Again, I'm Teacher Edge, your virtual teacher in Science K4. Always keep learning.